Hi folks, I'm Ricky Hendon and today we're here at the WA Industrial Relations Commission to register your union agreement. That's the agreement that's going to cover the pay of over 32,000 public sector workers. Um, it's a really critical agreement that we're registering today. Uh, one of the reasons it's critical is because it will secure the $1,000 pay increase that's due to public sector workers this, this year uh, and will mean that uh, you should be seeing a pay increase very, very shortly uh, in your pay slips. Uh, that's really critical. The other thing that's critical is that uh, it, is, it also is inclusive of a uh, conversion to permanency clause. The first conversion to permanency clause that we've had embedded in one of our agreements. That means if you're on a fixed term contract, if you are on a casual contract, your chances of becoming permanent in the public sector have just improved and you have a brand new clause to use uh, to fix up your job security, which is fantastic. I'm just going to introduce some of the people who've been really involved in the negotiation of this agreement. So uh, this is Matt. Matt has been critical along the way. He's an industrial officer with the union and he's been critical uh, to uh, us getting this agreement up and running. Uh, and so it's really, you know, it's fantastic to have him here and he's going to be speaking in the commission today. Um, I just want to let you know too that the reason why we've obviously uh, negotiated this agreement uh, is because we wanted a 12 month term. That's a really, really important part of the agreement that we're about to register. That 12 month term means that our agreement will expire in J June of next year. It means we'll be back bargaining almost straight away and it's what's enabled us to join in alliance with public sector, other public sector unions to join our power together and break wages policy. So as you may or may not be aware, the government has abandoned its thousand dollar wage uh, wages policy for next year and that is because of the work that CPSU CSA members did to secure a 12 month agreement and join in with other public sector unions and use our collective might to get this thing over the line. Um, we're now going to be involved in the government wages policy review. Uh, and we are going to be working very, very hard to make sure that that review gives us a framework where we can genuinely bargain for real wages growth for public sector workers. Talk to you later.